Hello everyone, welcome to Munira Shine Academy. We are learning rational numbers. In this video, we will do operations on rational number. Specifically, we are going to learn addition and subtraction on rational numbers. So when we talk about rational number, it is any number in the form P by Q where Q is not equal to 0 right so p and q are integers it means zero positive numbers and negative numbers where q means the denominator should not be equal to zero now when we talk about addition and subtraction since it is integer they go hand in hand okay so let us understand with an example if we have a number 2 by 3 plus 5 by 3 the first condition when doing addition or subtraction is to check whether the denominator is equal or not. Since in this example, denominator is 3 of both the rational numbers, so you have to just add the numerators. It means 2 plus 5 upon 3, that is equal to 7 upon 3 is the answer. Let us take more examples. Suppose we have number 2 by 3 plus minus 5 by 3. Now, just the change is that here we have one positive number, one negative number. The denominators are same. So, it means 2 plus into minus is minus 5 upon 3. 2 minus 5. Both the numbers have different signs, so we will subtract. So 5 minus 2 is 3 and sign of the greater number that is minus, so minus 3, minus 3 upon 3. Now we can bring this to the simplest form, that is 3 1s are 3, 3 1s are 3, so the answer becomes minus 1. In the question, we were adding the numbers, but then after applying the rule of the integers, plus into minus became minus and ultimately we subtracted the numbers okay so do not get confused whether you are adding it or subtracting it we are going to apply the rules of the integers let us take more examples with different denominator now suppose you have a number 2 by 3 plus 5 by 6. Now here the denominators are different. Here we have 3. Here we have 6. So you know that 6 is the multiple of 3. So we can just multiply 3 by 2 and make it 6. So we can say 2 by 3 into 2 is equal to 2 into 2, 4. 3 into 2, 6. When changing the number, always remember you have to multiply with the numerator and the denominator both. So this is 4 by 6. Now the denominators are same. So now we will add 4 by 6 plus 5 by 6 is equals to 4 plus 5 by 6. That is equals to 9 by 6. In the same case, if the number is negative, suppose we have minus 2 by 7. Let us take a different example plus 5 by 2. Now here 7 is not the multiple of 2, 2 is not, is not the multiple of 7. So what we will do, we will find LCM of 7 and 2. It's very simple. We can just observe and say that LCM is equal to 14. So you have to make 7 equal to 14 and 2 equal to 14. So let us take the first number 7. When we multiply 2 into 7, it becomes 14. So let us take minus 2 into 2, minus 4, and 7 into 2, 14. Similarly, 5 by 2 into 7. So, 5 into 7 is 35, and 2 into 7 is 14. Now, here the denominators have become same. So, now you can make the operation. So, we say that minus 4 upon 14 plus 35 upon 14 is equals to minus 4 plus 35 upon 14 
now we have different signs so we will subtract 35 minus 4 is 31 and sign of the greater number so greater number is 35 which is positive so plus 31 so 31 upon 14 is the final answer of this given question here the denominator were not same so we first made the denominator same and then we solved now suppose we are subtracting okay instead of the plus sign we have a minus sign in the same question so if we have minus 2 by 7 minus 5 by 2 here we had plus now we are subtracting minus so again make the denominator same so it will be minus 4 by 14 and 35 by 14 so we say that is equal to minus 4 by 14 and minus since we have a minus sign 35 by 14 so that is equal to minus and minus so minus 4 minus 35 let us write like this now here both the numbers are negative when the signs are same we add so instead of subtracting you have to add the numbers in this previous case the sign were different so we subtracted here we are subtracting the original number but following the rules of the integers the signs are same of minus 4 and minus 35 so we will add them so 34 35 plus 4 is 39 and the sign will be minus since they have negative sign so minus 39 upon 14 is the answer the question was almost same same numbers just it was a plus sign here a minus sign here and such a big difference in the answer let us take one last example for subtraction of a number where we say suppose we have two negative numbers if i say i have a number minus five by six minus we're subtracting minus 10 by 6 okay we are subtracting a number now when we have two signs two operators together always remember to put a bracket on solving let us first check the denominators are same so minus 5 by 6 now minus into minus bracket means multiplication so minus into minus says it is plus so this becomes plus 10 by 6 now minus 5 plus 10 by 6 the signs are different we will subtract 10 minus 5 5 the sign of the greater number that is positive so plus 5 upon 6 we can just write it as 5 by 6 right so remember when we have two negative signs together or two different signs together you have to multiply them and get the correct answer so this is how addition and subtraction can be done on a rational number in the next video i will explain how multiplication and division can be done on a rational number thank you very much